Hey there, how are you today? We all know about kidney stones. It's been a known problem from ancient times. There have been many studies conducted on the problem. It's often a silent killer, biding its time till it's too late. Luckily, there are many symptoms that we can pick up if we pay enough attention, from changes in urine to nausea. In this video, we're going to talk about the signs that indicate you have kidney stones. Let's get started. Number one, feeling exhausted. When our kidneys don't function properly, our entire body starts feeling the drawbacks. One of the first problems you'll face is exhaustion. Even if you haven't been involved in too much activity, you'll find yourself getting very tired. It'll also leave you confused and depressed as you won't be able to understand how you're getting so tired after so little activity. Well, the answer is fairly simple. When our kidneys get infected, there's an accumulation of toxic particles in your kidneys that are unable to leave your body. They slowly start entering your bloodstream, spreading throughout your body. This is why you might feel extremely tired even after not doing anything. If you have a wound or injury, you may feel extreme pain in that part of your body due to the fact that your body is overrun by toxins at the moment. It's likely to amplify the pain. Let's leave out the horrific details and say that it's not a pleasant experience. Number two, fever. All right, now a little nostalgia for the people who haven't been with us for a while. We're going to bring out the video we did on fever. Yes, we're talking about what causes a fever. In that video, we talk about how our good friend hypothalamus increases the temperature of our body to kill the microorganisms. This is usually what leads to fever, and it's the same in this case in the previous point. We mentioned that our body gets flooded with toxins when we get a kidney stone, so our very own protector does what it does best. It tries to kill the toxic particles by increasing the temperature of the body. It's known that microorganisms need a particular temperature to survive. Hypothalamus increases the temperature to make the body a hostile environment for the microorganisms to live in. Though hypothalamus alone may not be able to save you from this disaster, this is why we have doctors. Number 3. Pain in the Abdomen Region Imagine a sewage pipe that helps to get rid of toxic wastes from building up in the dump. When things get stuck in the sewage pipe, it gets blocked and can no longer perform its fundamental functions. It's the same when you get a kidney stone. Of course, there's one exception to this. What is that? Well, unlike your building, you have something called a nervous system, which acts with other sensory organs and helps you identify a feeling known as pain. Yes, when your kidneys are blocked with kidney stones, you feel a lot of pain in your abdomen. If you're unlucky, you'll also feel it in your groin. The pain may intensify if the stones start moving. Eventually, they'll get stuck in the narrow ureter, and you know what that means. Pain, pain, and lots of pain. It'll create a lot of pressure on your kidneys. Number four, you feel nauseous. Your gastrointestinal nerves are linked with your kidneys. What does that mean? It means when you have kidney stones, your digestive system won't be functioning at an optimum level. So expect issues you would normally face when you have an upset stomach, including stomach pain, weakness, and nausea. Yeah, you heard that right. You'll feel nauseous and you may even vomit a few times because of this. This is a messy problem to think about, let alone to deal with. Things don't end there though. In fact, it only begins there. In case you don't get medical help, this problem will only get worse. You can end up with an infection and not to mention a lot of pain. This is why we give so much emphasis on seeking medical help. Something like a kidney stone shouldn't be taken lightly anyway. Number five. Problems with urine Urination and excretion are basically your body's way of keeping the system clean. These two processes help to dump out the toxic waste and make sure the body is clean and fit to function. Unfortunately, now that your kidney has been affected, the process of urination will also get affected. There are many ways you'll be affected. For starters, you're less likely to urinate, much as you were previously capable of. Not to mention, you'll also feel a strange burning sensation when urinating. If the stones aren't treated, it can completely shut down the process of urination. Does that scare you? Well, that's not the end. The color of urine will change and the amount of times you'll urinate will also increase. This occurs because the stones in the kidney start moving closer and closer to the bladder. Because the stones are stuck in the kidneys, it can cause some damage in the urinary tract. If that persists, you can expect to see a little bit of blood in the urine. 
Number 6. Lower Back Pain Once again, it's the nerves at play. There are nerves that connect one part of our body to the other. Your kidneys are also connected to the muscles of your lower back. So when you have kidney stones, you may feel a little bit of pain in your lower back. Sadly, kidney stone pain is often sudden and the intensity varies from time to time. Your ureters contract as they push the stones out and that doesn't necessarily help with the pain. As such, you feel more pain than you did before and gradually the pain either decreases or increases depending on the position of the stones. This isn't the end though, because the pain will be back as soon as there's movement. In some cases, it may not only affect the lower back, but areas to the side of the lower back. Just make sure that you've visited the doctor and inform them about your symptoms. They'll most likely ask you to go get an MRI or an X-ray. This is mainly because of the fact that you get a lot of these symptoms due to digestive problems. Oh wait, we aren't done yet. Number 7. Smelly Urine Yes, we know we should have covered this point when we were talking about the problems with urine. Due to the fact that there's so much information on this, we thought it would be a better idea to keep it as a separate point. As you might have seen, healthy urine neither has a color nor any type of odor. If your urine has a strong smell, then chances are either your kidneys have been affected or there's some issues with your digestive system. In a study of more than 300 patients with kidney stones, it was found that about 8% of them reported to having one or another form of infection in their urinary tract. That's not all though. Women with kidney stones are more likely to have a urinary tract infection. This is quite ironic considering the fact that most patients with kidney stones are usually men. This also raises the question, what causes the smell in the first place? The answer is rather simple. The bacteria present in the urinary tract that have caused the infection is also responsible for the smell. It's also the same thing that causes a cloudiness in the urine that isn't seen in the urine of a healthy person. Once again, everyone, take care of yourself. If you do, then you won't have to deal with this problem. In case you are in a condition where you're faced with this problem, make sure to seek medical help. Oh, and considering that kidney stones are usually salts and minerals, you can probably cut down on your sodium intake. That'll probably help. Do you or anyone you know have any of the symptoms that we mentioned? Do you know anyone with kidney stones? Let us know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.